Hi, Dr. Scott Jensen. I'm running to be the next governor of Minnesota. I've got Matt Burke with me. We're going to talk about health freedom. Now, that can mean different things. I mean, if you're talking about Benjamin Rush, one of the doctors who signed the Declaration of Independence, it would talk about having your health freedom protected constitutionally. But in everyday medical practice, I talk about health freedom in the context that you get to be your own champion. You get to choose. Here's an example. I was talking with a patient one day and I said, I think you really need to do something about your cholesterol and your nutrition. And she said, oh, doc, that would take an awful lot of work. I said, well, you wouldn't have to. I said, you could just maybe change what you eat, a little less carbs, a little more protein. But I said, maybe you could try eating fish twice a week. Uh, she said, I don't want to do that. She said, why don't you just give me a pill? I said, well, I don't know that if I give you a pill of fish oil, that's the same as eating fish twice a week. Matt, you've had a fascinating life as a professional, Super Bowl winning football career. But with that career and with your growth from a kid in puberty to a professional athlete to an aging male, sorry about that, tell us about your journey to champion your own health care and grab a hold of your own freedom to be the healthy well, person you are. Yeah, so I was, I was a chubby kid and I can remember I was in the fifth grade. I went to a class, it was a weekly class at the hospital for overweight, I mean maybe I was borderline obese kids and she taught me about healthy eating habits, you know, and, and exercise and those types of things. And as a fifth grader, you know, that's a pretty embarrassing place to end up. Um, but I did it and uh, I think learned some things about health. And then, uh, you know, got to high school and I was kind of a tall skinny guy and then I wanted to bulk up for football. So then I learned how to transform my body. It takes a long time to go from 180 pounds, you know, sophomore year to 310 pounds in the NFL. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so, I mean, by any stretch of the imagination, I was, I was obese and uh, retired from football. It's like, okay, well, who's going to take care of me now, right? You play football, you get all these docs, they'll, they'll do anything for you, you're always getting checked out. But I realized that, you know, I'm, I'm responsible for my body, first and foremost. And so, you know, changed my lifestyle, obviously. Didn't go on any crash diet or, you know, take any pills or anything like that. But exercise discipline, you know, educated myself tried different things to figure out what worked best for me um, because I want to be healthy and I want to be proactive and you know take this the wrong way but I've only been to the doctor one time in the last eight years that's because I got bit by a tick and I thought I was gonna die but I you know I'm certainly I'm blessed with great genetics I mean I think so but I think I don't go to the doctor because I'm because I take care of myself because I'm proactive and like why wouldn't you be right you have one life to live uh, one body um, we should take care of it, and it's 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 a little bit baffling to me why why more Americans uh, don't right. We have an obesity epidemic, and then you look at all the you know, illnesses and ailments and, and the costs and the stress put on the healthcare system. It's um, it's silly. I mean, it really is silly, and, and I think uh, avoidable uh, with just a with just a little bit of discipline. America makes up four and a half percent of the world's population. There have been years where we actually started to encroach on taking 50% of the world's prescription drugs, just that 4.5% of the world's population. I do have stories of patients that have sort of had a journey similar to yours, but perhaps not as dynamic with the, you know, the athletic career. But I remember a specific story where I was going to send this patient to a surgeon to consider bariatric surgery because we just hadn't been able to get it done. And he pleaded with me, he said, Doc, give me one more chance. And he said, send me to someone that can help me, that can help me believe in myself. So I said, well, okay, I'm going to send you to this other facility. There's this woman there. She's a physician, and she does some really good work. I said, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. And he came back to me a couple of months later, and he lost 15 pounds. And we were checking out his blood pressure. Now it's better. Then he came back a couple months later, and he lost another 35 pounds. So now he's down 50 pounds. Short story, he's lost over 100 pounds. He's off his blood pressure pills. His diabetes has evaporated. He feels so good. Now, I know not everybody gets that chance. I know that. But I do also know that there's an awful lot of people who, if they go from a BMI of 33 to 31, they feel a lot better. I think the most important thing is it is your body. You got one. You get to champion it. And frankly, Taking a capsule 
of fish oil is not as good as eating fish twice a week. Thank you.